Hey creators, I am back with another video. I hope all is well. I hope all of you guys are creating and getting used to using your Silo app machine. If you are new to this channel, I appreciate that you have subscribed. If you have not hit that subscribe button, please do so now because I will be teaching you a lot of fun things. I will be doing a lot of giveaways as well as selling a lot of these templates that you guys are seeing me put together okay so the video that i just uploaded was the video of me putting these invitations together and the one before is the foiling technique with the print and cut and the not printing and cutting and foiling technique is all in um the previous videos so now what we are doing is putting together the book boxes for the invites and I'm going to be putting these inside the boxes before I put the invitation the foil gold shred which I got from Hobby Lobby for I believe two bucks a dollar ninety nine okay so before I get into this video there are a lot of different layers to this book box and you could use them for anything. You could use them for party favors, for the invitations, to put little gifts inside for your guests. So the options are endless for what you could use these for. Okay, so I'm going to put together the top part of this. This is the outside part of the book box. This is the inside part, which I may be adding another layer to this because I don't think that I just want to leave this plain. So I found another image. Now, these invitations are for the sexy fish. These are one of the photos that I use that they have. And sexy fish is in London, in the um, London and also in Miami as well. I'm not sure where else they are located. But even if you pull up their picture, you can see how much they have going on. Inside Sexy Fish is a lot of de um, decorations, fish hanging from the ceiling, the bathrooms. Everything is pretty decked out and there's a lot going on, like I said. So that's what I tried to do when creating the invitations. So I'm going to be putting together two of these boxes and you do need... Um, satin ribbon to tie the boxes together um i'm using a glue gun in my advanced tape glider everything i use is in the description below so let's get started putting these together you know i love to get straight to the point i am selling this template it is a lot of box templates out there like i said in the previous video but I added more elements to mine and mines are a little bit larger. I'm not sure you could resize mine. I'm not sure if you could resize, resize other people, but mines are resizable. So you can make them as large as you want, as small as you want. Just make sure you click on everything at one time to resize it and everything will be proportioned correctly. Now this is the top layer, like I said, now on the side, I'm going to add two layers. Like so. These are pretty easy to put together, but they are pretty layered. I put chapter 76 using the foil technique without the print and cut. She's turning 26, I'm um, 76, 26, huh? <laughs> Big difference, but okay. I'm going to pull this back up really quick because I don't like the, um, way I positioned it. Let me just tape this back down. Who's gonna know? Okay. 
just want to make sure this is positioned correctly. Okay, so this is the outside of the box. Now, before I put this down, actually let me tape these on to each other so I only have to do it one time. Before I tape this down, I am going to place my ribbon, which I probably cut these way too long, but I'd rather get a pretty bow than not. I'm going to place the ribbon right here before I tie these down. And I'm going to place the ribbon upside down so that when I tie it, the right part is showing. Okay, so before I do anything, now you could glue these down. I am going to add a little bit of glue. But for it to stay in its proper place, I'm going to use my tape ruler first. So much harder putting things together on video. Okay, so I just added a few pieces of tape. I am going to secure it more with some glue. And I'm going to tape these two on top of each other. Now, towards the end of the video, I may add a different layer up here of just another design to give it more of a pop to add a little more detail to it. Okay, so, oops, I hope the tape didn't pull up. It did a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to add a little more detail to the top of these. Cause like I said, if you look at the restaurant, it is pretty extravagant and there's a lot going on, a lot of design, a lot of detail. So why not make the invitations look the same? Now I'm going to dab some glue. My glue is gold because I um, was using this for my wax seals. And I'm going to place this right here like so. I don't want this to show. Tuck that. Okay, and then just press down. Now also, I'm going to repeat the same thing before I put the box in. I will put the box together just to show you how easily this is done. Okay, no glue got on here, good. Just wanna make sure that is in the same place in the middle. I believe that's good. I know next time to cut the ribbon shorter. And let me just fix this really quick. Okay, here we go. As you can see, my tape glider been through some things. I had this for years. Okay. So let me add a few more pieces. I'm going to fold this so it don't show. Okay. So I'm going to put together another box just to show you guys how easy this is done. I'm going to be using a hot glue gun for this, not the tape, to make sure that it's secure and it won't open. Just put a dab. Oh, 
hold it make sure that it's lined up correctly and just repeat in all four corners Here we go. I am selling this template as well, and you could use these for any theme and personalize it. So this one, I would have this, but as a blank image. So you could just fill the image to whatever theme you're doing. And I do get these foils, these size foils, I think it is, I'm not sure, they're huge. They're like a big poster boards from Hobby Lobby for only 99 cents. So I rather buy these versus the foil sheets 12 by 12 for $1.99 single sheets. So I actually buy these and if you have the pro, you could fit it on a 24 by 24 mat and just cut a lot of pieces out at a time or you could just cut these down the size to the 12 by 12. Now I am going to put some, some glue down here like this in a little square and I am going to glue the sides to this box so when you put this box together make sure that it's on the end part of the fold and just hold it down like so make sure that it could bend over you see and I'm gonna press it down You actually don't have to tape this if you don't want. I'm debating. No, you don't. Just make sure that it's down like this. Secure enough. And we have our box put together. Now I am going to do another one. I'm thinking that I'm going to tape and glue it down. Just like I like to have my items secure. I don't want a client paying my prices saying, you know, put a dab of glue. And I'm going to hold it. Like so. I hope you guys could see or get what I'm doing. Also, when making your items, um, you can make a little sticker in the back with your website or your logo. So people who do get the invitations know where you got them from. Just put them like a little sticker in the back. If you want to personalize your product and make more sales, that's a good way to market for free. Oh, you know what I mean. Okay, and this is super easy to put together. Now, before I tie this, I'm going to make one more in the video. And look, I have my tape showing here, so make sure you don't do that, but it's easy to remove. I'm going to add my little mush mush, my little stretty streds.
and like I said at the end of the video I will show you guys if I'm going to add that top layer this is way too much let's see Pull that out of there. Put the RSVP like so. And let me cut this. And now we're going to tie together our box and we are done now to tie the box and like I said of course I'm gonna have to cut this I'm gonna stick that in there this is how I'm going to tie it I hope you guys could see it I didn't even look at the video to see if everything is in frame so I hope so but I'm going to be doing this one more time to show you guys and to do everything a little neater this is my first time designing a book box and making a template for it so this is my first time ever putting it together too on video with you guys for you okay so of course we want this a lot smaller I'll make it just a little here we go. Let me see. Okay. So I'm going to cut these two down the side so I can actually use this and I'm just going to make the box I'm going to tie it a little tighter so it could stay completely down like I said it's my first time putting together the actual template myself So bear with me and I'm just going to make this a little cuter. I'll cut these a little more. Should I? Like this. And I'm just going to heat set the ends. And we are going to put together another box. So look how cute these are. Okay, let's put together another box. Let me move this out the way. Okay, so this is done. All the four corners are glued down. I'm going to take my front foil piece of the year invited, put it the top. Here we go. And then I will be speeding up the video to put the rest of the boxes together. Now, before I put this on, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this together before I tape everything down on the box. 
I didn't do that last time. But okay, make sure it's positioned in the middle. You could offset and add more layers in detail if you prefer. Chapter 76, and let me make sure, make sure that you put it this way. I was about to make another mistake. Make sure that they are going this way. Okay, in the middle. Here we go. Okay, now it's time for the inside. And I'm going to tape this down first. And then do the ribbon. Just line it up in the middle. You can even write, if you have an invitation, like if this is for a baby shower or a favor box, you could foil this side too, as well as the invitation, or you could just offset it again or keep this as so and either print and cut a text on here, or you could do the foiling technique and put another message on here of whatever details your guests may like. Okay. So I'm going to take the ribbon again. I'm gonna leave it more further out this time. Make sure that is upside down. Right here. And I guess I'm a, yeah. I'm gonna tape the back. When you do something once and you do it over and over again, it gets much easier and you get into the groove. Okay, I'm gonna add a few more pieces of glue just to secure it and make sure that it is positioned correctly. And I am going to follow the same. I like this side better, so. This time I'm leaving more out. This ribbon is shorter, so I want more access of the ribbon to tie. So I'm not pushing it back like I did before. This time, I will recommend, you know, doing it this way. Now I have all this straight all over the place. Yikes. Okay. Just make sure it's positioned the same. A few pieces of tape. Now I did that again. I know I put too much tape on the end. Let me roll it back. Okay. And now I'm just going to add for the box. Now for the box this time, I'm going to put the glue directly on the box. Make sure that it is positioned correctly. Hold it down for a second. Now 
Let's see if I don't glue it down. And that's just the options. Okay, so the first box I did glue the tab down the box, but you do not have to do that. So for this one, I'm not gonna glue it down. Let's add our little pieces of shred. You could also put tissue paper in here, you know, if it's for an invitation. Okay, take your invitation, place it like so. Your straight. And I'm just going to place just a little more on top. Like this. And let's tie our boxes. Let me make sure this is, okay, is right. So I have the, oh no, that's the, okay. the bow a little shorter okay I like that bow that's perfect to me okay now let's cut the ends and seal them and I'm going to proceed to put these boxes together and speed up my video in time lapse here we go I'm going to cut this a little more. And if you are mailing these boxes, I would recommend getting the little white boxes from Dollar Tree. You could just put these in. Or you could use the small priority boxes at um, your post office for free. And here we go. This is the box. This is the overall look. How cute is this? They are very cute. Okay, so I will speed up the video, you guys. Like I said, the description is below. If you want to buy this template, you could add multiple layers to it. You could use these for favor boxes. Um, personalize them how you want. You could um, revert to the other videos that I have uploaded before this using the foil technique with the foil quill pen it is very easy and you could just offset to add more layers these are easy to put together these are super cute okay so i'm going to speed up the video guys please don't forget to subscribe check back to my videos if you created these if you bought my template please let me know i also have my email um at the bottom in the description if you have any questions please feel free to ask if you want me to make a video please leave a comment below and i will answer any questions you may be having everything that i'm using in this video is also in the description area thank you guys and see you in my next video which i will be putting together i will i'm teaching how to make your own custom paper plates from scratch which is a quick fun video and easy and i also have that template for sale so guys see you i'm gonna speed up the video and like i said if i add the other layer to this i will show you that as well towards the end of the video so do stick around to see that
hey creators so i am all done here is the finished product now you can see that i added more layers to the inside and just embellish this um embellish the seashells with two pearls here are the boxes now if you looked at the time lapse video i don't know if you could tell but I did do two of the boxes backwards, so I had to go back and I did fix that. And I did finish the other three RSVPs that I did not have, but this is the overall look. So comment below how you like how everything came out and the quality of it. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to email me or just leave a comment below. I try to answer all emails in the comments. And again, I do sell these templates so you and I do have the links for you to purchase as well. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and go create.